Hey there, YouTube world. Matt Schwartz here, The Welding Geek. And on this episode of The Welding Geek, I'm gonna be showing you how I went about making my mud horn. So, if you wanna see how I went about making that, stay tuned to the video. All right, the first thing I did here was take my paper template my little mud horn here that I drew up in AutoCAD and I glued it onto some 16 gauge mild steel. Now what I'm going to do here is just trim it out with a razor blade and drawing on the lines and I'm going to peel the interior layer out. And then I'm going to take it over to the sandblaster and sandblast that image onto the mild steel. Alright, now that I have my image sandblasted onto my mild steel, I need to get the rest of the paper off so I can see the outline. And then I'm just going to take a sharpie and outline that image. Alright, it's welding time. First step here is I'm just going to outline the mud horn in weld just stacking up dimes stacking up beads all the way around this thing and wherever i need it all right now that i have this thing outlined and weld i'm gonna go ahead and just stack up a bunch more beads on the inside um, and then try to smooth it all out to make it look nice That I have all my weld on, I'm gonna go ahead and take my tin snips here and snip out the profile of the mud horn. During the welding process, the, the piece warped out pretty good, so I'm going to take my body hammer here and just try to flatten it back out, and then also put a curve to it so it will fit over the curve in my pauldron. Now I'm going to go ahead and clean up the edges and clean up some of the welds and kind of smooth this thing out a little bit. Alright, so I got the nose and the mouth cleaned out with the bandsaw. The eyeball, I'm going to have to go in with my 8th inch hole punch and punch a bunch of small holes and then a die grinder to clean up the rest of the eyeball. And then I'll use um, a series of discs on my angle head grinder, like 80 grit to scotch Bright, to a unitized, what's called a unitized wheel, to buff this thing out, make it look super nice and smooth. Um, and that's it for this build.
And all right, there is the finished product. I'm really happy with how this came out. Um, how I attached this here is I just used some of this double-sided um, Gorilla Tape and just stuck it on there um, because this is steel and that's aluminum. <laughs> and I want to be able to take it off if I needed to, if I needed to change something or do whatever. But I am really happy with how that came out. I hope you guys enjoyed that, the process of making that as much as I did. Um, if you enjoyed this video, hit a like. If you didn't, hit a dislike. <laughs> um, my name is Matt Schwartz. I'm the Welding Geek. If you're new to the channel, um, I have the whole entire costume build. Um, so you can see me build through the whole entire Mandalorian costume. Um, so yeah. Um, if you guys want to support my channel in other ways, I've got a Patreon account and I'll put that in the link below. Um, this template will be available. Um, there's a template tier. There's a, a support mat giveaway tier. Uh, which if I make something that I don't want, I'm going to give it away to those people in that tier. Um, but yeah. Um, it, it's not available right now, the template for this, but it will be this week. I'm working on that Bo-Katan helmet, um, which will be a, a build coming up here pretty soon. Um, and so I just haven't had the time to, to make it into a PDF and throw it on there, but it'll be on there very soon. So yeah. Anyway, fun short build, short video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. My name is Matt Schwartz, and I'm the Welding Geek. Thanks for watching, guys.